Here folks, it's Kikoskia here, just letting you know that this video contains scenes that may not be suitable for people who suffer from epilepsy. Please keep this in mind if you intend to watch the video. And now, on with the show! This is the story of a world in peril. High atop Mount Dubious, the defender of the legendary Mater Flower is trying to keep it safe from someone who seeks to use it for nefarious means. The Mater Flower has the supernatural power to spread peace and tranquility throughout the world, but with the Guardian defeated and the Flower taken, chaos starts to spread throughout the world. People begin to quarrel and argue, and in a desperate attempt to save the world, the grandson of the Guardian of the Flower sets out on a journey to retrieve it. An epic adventure indeed. Welcome, folks, one and all, to Let's Play Trip World, developed and published by Sunsoft in 1992 for the Game Boy. Trip World is a platformer with one big difference. Most of the people you encounter on your journey are not hostile, and you can happily avoid them without any repercussions, because after all, you're out to save the world and stop everyone from fighting. You don't want to fight yourself unless you have to, so let's go and do that, shall we? No options. World 1. Say hello to our hero Yakapu, everyone! Yakapu is a young member of the Shibubu race of bully like beings that can shape change. We have two forms. We can hold down up and attack to turn into a flying form, and we can uh, constantly press the uh, jump button to fly up only in one direction, and if we hit the ceiling or a wall, we will crash down to the ground. No fall damage, though. Pressing down and attack, the attack, by the way, is a kick, will uh, turn us back into our normal form, and down and attack will turn us into a fish. The fish is not very useful on land, but when you're in the water, it is fantastic. We can move very slowly like this, I wouldn't recommend it. No uh, oxygen uh, needs as the fish, though. We're absolutely fine on the uh, ground. We just really should be in the water. So let us now switch back to our normal form and show off that we can jump, and we can jump and kick. And with that, we shall now head on our journey. Don't worry, Grandfather, we will get the Mater Flower back. Mount Dubious is in the background. Let us leave Mount Dubious and go on our journey. There are no enemies here on the first screen at all. And when we go down here, we will be introduced to the uh, temporary forms that we can take. By eating various fruits, we can uh, assume a form that will only be there for a limited time. This one has us have a flower on our head, and we can fire seeds that will also uh, make flowers sprout on the heads of others, which keeps them stationary. That uh, person there, entirely harmless. Don't need to worry about them. Don't need to worry about these people either, but they may knock you into the uh, spiked pit there, so using the seeds is a good idea. Let's go down here and find somebody else who is also harmless, but we will use the seed to uh, get past safely and find these hedgehogs. These hedgehogs are also not intrinsically harmful, but those spikes will hurt. This thing here, by the way, is a health flower. It'll restore your health to full. We have three lives, and there may be a way to get more lives, but I've not found it. We need to jump very carefully over this and avoid that pit. We can jump quite far, the jumping is pretty precise, also the music here is really good. And isn't Yakapu the most adorable person you've ever seen that is a shape-shifting bunny? I'd say so! Let's move forward and find you, jump over you, and carry on our merry way. Down here, to find another resident of this world called Trip World. This person, also not harmful, we can just go right past and get into the water the water, we are definitely going to assume the uh, fish form and show that off. Look at how fast we move as a fish. We can also fire bubbles that will uh, defeat enemies, though we don't have to. None of those enemies are uh, harmful. Help! I'm not suited for the ground! It's okay, Yakapu. We'll have you transform back and head down here. Now we're going to find a... Uh... Oh, we're going to roll there. That's what uh, slopes do. We're going to find some uh, platforms that disappear. We need to be very quick with our jumps, because uh, if you're not, you get hurt. And we really don't want to get hurt. We only have so much health, 
and here's a foe that will actually try to hurt us. Need to watch out for this uh, person with the umbrella. The umbrella is dangerous. Need to uh, keep attacking here, and we get a health flower for it. Always worth defeating those foes, because those foes are out to get you. Up here we go. And this uh, flying um, creature is not going to harm us per se, but will keep knocking us about. So we're actually going to uh, get rid of this one. Have at thee! The kicking is uh, something that requires a bit of practice. Why did we get rid of uh, that one? Because of these things here that will hurt us, and uh, that flying creature is very good at knocking you into this. Jump over. There we go. Down we go. We're actually very close, I believe, to the end of the first level. The levels aren't that long. There are five of them. Here's our first opponent. Doesn't seem that dangerous. Definitely dangerous. This uh, foe is going to try and kick us. We need to be very careful because of the uh, fact that those kicks hurt. We need to time our kicks so that uh, we can uh, deal some damage. Ooh, we are taking a lot of damage here needlessly, but we should be okay provided we uh, get the uh, person in a corner and then... Ooh, we've got to be very careful. Very... Ooh, you're on our head. That shows that uh, contact itself is not always uh, fatal. We're probably going to lose a life here. Got to be careful. Oh, there's a life gone. Not a good start at all. Need to be very careful about the uh, bosses. The bosses can be quite tricky. Take two. All right, this time with a vengeance. Need to keep you in this corner. That's what I need to do. That's what I didn't do last time. Need to just keep you in the... Oh, careful. Need to keep you in the corner and just kick. Like that. Because once uh, you defeat a boss, you get all of your health back. If that is, we can actually do that. Gotta just kick. There we go! Ha ha! Victory is ours! Well done, Yakapu! Sorry about losing that life. We're on world two now. We're getting into a forested area. And if we go over here, we can get a power up that turns us into a ball. We can just bounce about and avoid everyone. These two here, and this person here that likes to dance! Dance! Dance for Yakapu's amusement! Okay, let's keep going. Bit difficult to get down there, but we can manage it. Now, we just want to get past you. We don't want to know what uh, you're doing. You just seem perfectly happy to uh, stay there. You turn into a mushroom. That's fine. You can turn into a mushroom. Down here we go. We're going to avoid these uh, feathers that turn into birds. And here is a uh, totem that we're also going to jump over and avoid. Down here we go. And now we are in an old abandoned ruin. And there's a giant cat creature. Hello, how are you? You're just going to meow at me constantly and push me forward. We're getting the impetus we need to explore. Unfortunately, the giant cat thing is not going to uh, come up here. Do we want this power up? Maybe we do. It's dangerous to get, but I'll try my best to be a little bit more over here. The downside of uh, that um, form is that you can't really walk. Also, don't attack this. That is a dangerous, dangerous foe. Going to head over here and avoid the spiked ceiling. And watch out for this floor, because that floor will crumble away. Over here, if we jump over to the right, is a room with you. Hello. We're just going to defeat you because we can. And get that flower. Hopefully you get, uh, lives for points. I, uh, haven't actually been, uh, keeping track of that. There's another flower. We could go and get that by, uh, doing a bit of flying. Why not? Just in case you missed the, uh, other flower. Down here, tiny little creatures. Again, perfectly harmless. Let's move on. Down here. We're actually very close to the boss right now. Roll away, and the boss is right here, staring at us with unblinking eyes. All right, boss, have at thee! Now, what this boss is going to do is assume a bolt form that will hurt you, and jumps when you jump. The key to avoiding this form is by using the uh, ledge here to your advantage. You can just jump up to here and be perfectly safe. If you just stay up there, 
the uh, boss will never assume uh, normal form ever again. You need to actually uh, be on the same level as the uh, lightning bolt for at least some period of time. You only need to get a few hits in, that's all you need to do. Just a couple. I don't think there's ever a way to improve your health bar. There might be, I've never found it. And careful, oh, carefully does it. This uh, boss has quite a bit of health. There we go. And can we get the final hit in here? No, we can't. No, we can't. Oh, transforming back. That was a foolish decision. Yakapu is victorious. Loads and loads of points are ours. World three. We're already to the halfway point, and here we go with this level. You hear the music? Guess what? It's time to swim! Swim, Yakapu, swim! And ignore all of these creatures because they're not going to harm you. Nothing in here is actually going to harm you. Enjoy a nice little peaceful swim through these screens. Constantly tapping the jump button to swim. Up we go, we could go that way, we're not going to. We're going to go this way instead. Past these ruins and to here. Whereupon, we will then uh, resume having a normal form. Jump up to here, into this strange place. And grab this power up and very quickly go up to here. Why here? Because we really, really need to uh, use this power up while we can and avoid getting hit by them because they will actually hurt you. What's this power up used for? This power up is used to deal with this mini boss because we can actually hit the uh, boss at range with the tail. The uh, things that you use to. Uh... Oh, we got hit there, but that's fine. We can. Uh deal with you. There we go. The uh, things that you use to uh, take the different forms, they can uh, reappear. Also, we're never actually going to get through here unless we uh, jump and uh, try and get in there. There we go. And this brings us over to here, and we really want to assume this form now. Avoid these enemies, go back to this form, and through this cave. That leads to here. Do we want to go down? Not really. We're going to go up. Then again, we could go down. What does down lead to? A flower! Well, that's good to know. Didn't know that was there. That's really going to be helpful, because uh, there's a tricky thing coming up. This is not the tricky thing. This is just a slope. The climb is also not the tricky thing. The tricky thing is the boss. And we definitely want this power up here. We also want to, uh, we can also pick up another one there to, uh, recharge it. See this, uh, person here? This wind is going to push us back quite a bit, but if we do that, the creature will be, uh, blown away. We kind of want that. We also want to deal with this cow here, because the cow is, uh, very, very fast. Can you not do that, please? I need to go over here. And deal with... Oh, no thank you! Deal with this boss over here. This boss is tricky, by the way. I may be able to do this. Have at thee! We managed to get the uh, first blow here, and the second blow. This boss has the ability to uh, fire attacks like that, and we were victorious! Ha <laughs> ha! You look tired, Yakapu. Don't worry, we're on World 4 already. This world is full of cake, and ice cream, and dessert creatures, who seem entirely harmless. Not sure if you're harmless, but I'm going to grab this anyway, which will turn us into a bouncy ball, and we shall bounce this person with us on our adventure. Never mind, we're actually going over here. Then we need to do platforming as a ball. Not as difficult as you'd think, you can just wait for this uh, power-up to fade, of course. Bouncy, bouncy. Don't know what food this is meant to be. And you're having a fun time, aren't you? That you are. Oh, there was a power up there. I could not grab it. Ah, well. You seem like you're perfectly harmless. Let's go over here and hopefully find people who continue to just let us go on our way. Let's go down here. Oh, careful. Into the water. Oh, you are not harmless. You are not harmless at all. So let's uh, defeat you. Oh, let's actually uh, go this way. And, oh, this is bad. Need to deal with you. 
and go this way. Just keep jumping, that will get us there quickly. And here is some health. This only restores one, though. That's not so good. We want a lot more health than that. Down we go, maybe we'll find some more. That looked like- oh! This is actually a boss, would you believe? Because, uh, one of them can kick you. Need to be careful. Need to keep kicking the cake. No cake for anyone today! Onwards we go. We can grab this, uh, fruit? Why not? It is the flower fruit! We want to jump over to here... And use that here, for sure, because, uh, I don't know how dangerous you are. Probably quite dangerous. Also glazing! Ice effect. Like that. You look surprised! Don't worry, we're going to be, uh, just going past now. Can I get a health flower? That would be really nice right now. Nope! We are straight to the boss! We are straight to the boss. Also, oh, Now this boss is, uh, going to be tricky because of the, uh, this here! That ability! You're going to, uh, need to, uh, make sure we don't get hit by that breath, because that breath will hurt us. And we only have one health. I think when this uh, boss gets to the final health, uh, they will just keep using the breath. Oh, yep, this might be that time. Yep, that's the time! We need to, uh, get up to where you are. Oh, we died right there. The timing was unfortunate. We should do better now that we have a lot more health. Just don't want to get complacent. Because, uh, touching the uh, boss does not hurt us. It's just the breath. Just the breath. Oh, careful. And jump here. And we need to be a little bit careful here while we kick this uh, person who looks like a royalty in the face. There we go, we just needed one more kick. We get lots of points. And we move on to the last level of the game. World 5. Everything seems peaceful and lovely here. Everything is peaceful. Loads of flowers here. And we can uh, do this to uh, get past safely. We can also interact with the butterflies. Isn't everything so peaceful and serene? It's not peaceful and serene, folks. There is something going on here. We will find out soon enough. Once we get past all of these people, with our flower power! Ooh, that's something we probably want. We're now tiny! Welcome to the castle! Welcome to Crumbly Floors! We need to be careful because this is the final area. There are going to be, uh, mini-bosses scattered about. And little cats! That we don't need to worry about at all, we're just going to, uh, Keep moving on, and up. Over here! Ooh, a health flower. Don't really need that right now, so let's move forward. Up here, around here, and we'll find you! It seems like we are not welcome here, in this castle. You know what? This is what I think about you. Ha-ha! We have avoided you! We have now grabbed this power-up, which is going to be quite useful, I wager. Oh yes, this is quite useful. Going to, uh, just keep attacking here, like so. And we have been victorious. This will, uh, disappear, and we can go down and find you. Greetings! We just need to get past you, I'm afraid. We also need to get past you. Getting past you is going to be a little bit tricky, but I have a plan. It's cool timing this so that we can just- oh, Timing this so that we can just, uh, get over you. Hmm. Gonna be a little bit tricky. Let me move you a little bit over here. And... Jump! Nope, that did not do it. Maybe we can just keep pushing you back? That could do it. That'll do it, though! Aha! Now we have this power-up. And we want this power-up right now. We will, uh, go over here. Go past the, uh, machines, because of course there are machines. Oh, and use this to get up. Oh, 
over here. And over here. We're getting very close to the end of the game, actually. As we slowly ascend. There should be... Yep, you. Want to actually, uh... Deal with... Oh, we actually want to fly over... Oh, we actually want to fly over you, please. Nope, we could not fly over you. That's a little awkward. We're on our last life here. I do not like that at all. But I'm sure we will persevere. Just need to uh, do this and fly over like that. Ha <laughs> ha! We've dealt with you. Perfect. Now, before we move on, I want to say that uh, the end of this uh, game is a boss rush. A very tricky boss rush indeed, where you have to fight uh, three bosses in quick succession. The first boss is exceptionally easy, the second boss is by far the hardest boss in the game, and the third boss is also quite difficult, mainly because you don't have very much health. But if you didn't figure it out by now, the person who stole the flower from the introductory cutscene is also a Shibubu, and they had a flower on their head, and a crown! And we just defeated somebody with a crown on their head in the previous level. Is there a connection? There probably is. In fact, there definitely is. Also, I haven't showed off what happens if you pause. This is what happens if you pause. Nothing in particular, it just, uh, freezes everything, there are no options, no way to uh, buy more lives, it's just paused. Let's move on, shall we? There are only a few more screens to go before we get to the very end. As a matter of fact, the ending is right here. And down. For that floor looks quite crumbly. And that boss looks exceptionally tall and angry. Angry is right. Tall, however, is wrong. For there are actually two things here that we need to defeat really quickly and try our best to keep our health as high as possible because we need that health for the second boss, which is a Shibubu that is working for the person who stole the Mater Flower. Now, there is a health flower there that we want to save for when we are very low on life, because this is a really tricky fight with multiple phases. I'd actually say that this is the uh, final fight of the uh, of the game. Oh, we're doing pretty well here. That's a good sign, because uh, that power is... Uh, just need to uh, get one more hit here. There we go! Ha <laughs> ha! We have two life for the final boss, which is really good. Two life will probably get us through it. Why? Because we're going to cheese it. It's the best way to do it. My hands are actually shaking a bit here. This is quite a uh, nerve-wracking fight. But where is the person that stole the flower? Right here. In this magnificent robot! Don't believe me? It's pretty magnificent! What are we going to do? Well, what we're going to do is we are going to uh, get on top of the robot as quickly as possible and just uh, occasionally uh, jump down and kick it. On top of the robot is a place where you cannot get hurt. And with four hits, the robot is destroyed. We get loads and loads of points. And there is the person who stole the flower. The King of Mirrorland. The wall crumbles, revealing the Queen who hid away the Mater Flower during the fight. There it is, unharmed. And the flower controlling the King fades away. And he returns to normal, and realizes what he has done. With the flower safe, our grandfather appears, and returns it back to Mount Dubious, where he will continue to watch over it. Maybe at some point, it will be our duty to protect the flower, and keep peace in Trip World. That is not now. For now, everything is good again. And with that, Trip World is saved! Well done, Yakapu. You did fantastically well. You should be happy. Peace has been restored. 
And folks, that was Trip World, a short and unique experience. And it's a game I really enjoy. Here on the Trip Team, everyone, let's watch the credits roll. It's short and sweet, doesn't outstay its welcome, and the fact that you don't have to defeat pretty much all the enemies makes it a really interesting experience. You actually make the game a lot harder for yourself if you do decide to attack everyone. The music's really good, the graphics are really good, and the gameplay is solid. If there was one thing I uh, would say, it's that I'd really want there to be a few more power-ups that you could uh, innately use, and for the uh, shape-shifting to be more of a factor. There are a few forms I uh, didn't show off, I didn't have the opportunity to do so, but you don't need to. You could actually get through the game quite happily with uh, using only a few of the power-ups. And this game, oh, Trip World, a game I came across entirely by accident, and it's a fantastic game. The music being good is a given, considering it's a Sunsoft game. The gameplay being great is even better. The end, folks. Nothing more to see here. We have finished it. And so, folks, I'm Kikoskia, and that was Let's Play Trip World. Nothing's going to happen here at the very end. It's just going to stay on the end screen until you close the game, such as the way with many games back in the day. I do believe this game is uh, sort of based on another game that came out. I don't know anything about that game at all. I knew very little about this game until I uh, looked it up a lot later. I briefly uh, experienced Trip World, uh, one of the many games that I found on a multi-card, but uh, didn't know anything about the plot because, you know, the game doesn't tell you it outside of the manual. But I'm very glad that uh, I gave this game the chance it deserves. It's going to a cycle back round, and I encourage you to give this game a go uh, for yourself. See if you can find the power-ups that I missed. See if you can find any hidden things, which I'm sure there are. And so, folks, I'm Kikoskia, and that was Let's Play Trip World. What's to come after Trip World? Who can say? I do feel like I'm in the mood for something uh, short and sweet, much like this. Not as short as this, though, but if it's as good as this, my, will we be in for a treat? Also, Sinister Shabubu King with a flower. Did you ever think you'd uh, see a foe with a flower on their head be threatening? Well, you have now, for you've seen Trip World. And so, folks, I'll catch you next time, and I'll see you then. Later. And Yakapu says goodbye as well. Yakapu would be here right now, but Yakapu is currently in fish form and trying to flop onto the title screen. You know, you really should shift back. You'll get here a lot quicker. Oh, Yakapu, never stop being you. And so, folks, I'll catch you then, in the future, in another game. Later.